Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for June 1st, 2020. So we switched over to a new month, and my goodness, what a crazy, wild situation we had this weekend. So how about we settle into our office chairs and let's get ready for the Monday morning edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning, I feel like, I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but I feel like I'm kind of watching an episode of The Twilight Zone. We have rampant unemployment. We have negative earnings growth. We have protests erupting all over the United States that have closed businesses such as, um, well, Apple is closing businesses. We've had Walmart close hundreds of businesses. We have have target closing businesses um, a lot of the inner city businesses that uh, folks rely on like uh, drug stores and things like that have been boarded up because of these crazy wild protests that are going on out there and I certainly understand why everyone is upset they definitely have reason to be upset but let's not burn down our communities particularly in a situation like this when um, we need every little bit of business that we can to resume, um, particularly when I look at a market here that seems to be intent on creating a V-style bottom, which is a very bullish bottom. Kind of an interesting situation, and I feel like, like I say, I'm watching an episode of the twilight zone. Um, we're looking at um, an employment situation number coming up here on Friday. Some say it could be as high as 20%. Market doesn't care. So at this point, futures are looking to a positive open. They, now they have pulled back just slightly from morning highs but still pointing to a positive open this morning. So let's take a look at our technicals here in the chart. As you can see on Friday, when the president, we were worried about the president coming out and saying something um, pretty derisive, but he ended up saying something that was, um, you know, not so bad, that um, Hong Kong has lost its, its special status, which was pretty much already known, said that Chinese companies listed here in the United States are going to come under special scrutiny to make sure to uh, try and protect uh, U.S. investors. Um, and so the market didn't see that as a big problem at all, even though those tensions between U.S. and China are clearly rising. Um, um, overall, it relieves some pressure um, of the big worry that there might be um, sanctions or something like that being announced on Friday. And then all of the protests erupting um, all over the place, the damage, National Guard being called out and on the streets in um, several places in the United States. It's just kind of a remarkable situation. 2020 is certainly proving to be quite an interesting year. Technically speaking here on the charts, as you can see, we're holding up okay in here. Um, let me get rid of all of these lines that I have drawn on the chart. We're, we're holding up quite well. Um, so far, we're, uh, our 50-day moving average is turning up. We're still below our 200 and 500-day moving averages here on the Dow. But right now, we are certainly in a bullish trend, and there is nothing in the chart that's suggesting that is ready to change yet. The bulls have just been remarkably strong in the light of all of the problems that um, we face in our economy. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also showing nothing but bullishness here. We are currently in a bullish move. Um, clearly our trend remains higher. 50-day moving average turning up sharply and we ended up closing Friday above the 200-day moving average. So you know what's not to like here in this chart um, there, we do have to worry about some of these resistance levels 
that we still have to deal with in the chart. But right now, the bulls just seem intent to buy anything. It doesn't seem to matter what happens out there. They just want to buy up stock. And then um, when we take a look at the Qs, QQQ, um, getting a big shot right at um, rally right at the end of the day on Friday after the presidential um, reports, certainly bullish trend. 50 pushing up above the 200 here, and we are pressing for all-time highs in the NASDAQ. It, I, again, I just feel like I'm in a um, an episode of the Twilight Zone looking at that, considering the condition of our economy. And then IWM, IWM also um, in a nice trend. It, has, it didn't react nearly as positive as the other indexes. Um, had facing its 200 day moving average um, still has some work here to do to maybe push on through uh, to break back up into that level so kind of an interesting situation here this morning um, let's take a look at the VIX now the VIX uh, started up on Friday as uh, we were worried about that presidential comment but then lost um, lost all that ground um, when we found out it wasn't as bad as um, originally anticipated, I guess. And as you can see, um, we're back down here, probably pushing down here toward this 25 handle in the VIX. And we're still holding in this downtrend. We're coming very, very close to the 200 day moving average here on the VIX. So kind of an interesting situation. There just doesn't seem to be any fear in this market whatsoever. Um, and um, we're pushing pushing um, that VIX back down, which can be really good for us as option traders. Those bid ask spreads uh, may start to finally come together a little bit more and be a little bit um, better for trading. Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And here's my concern with this. We are still um, showing it, it, just an incredible uh, amount of bullishness here where we're holding up in this um, bearish reversal zone. Um, we are quite extended um, in these indexes, in these charts. And um, I got to admit, probably one of the longer periods that we have been able to hang out up here on T2122. So kind of keep an eye on this. We could see those profit takers come in at any time. But right now, there just seems to be nothing that um, the bulls won't buy here. So um, let's keep just keep an eye on it. But there's nothing in the charts that should suggest bearishness, at least at this moment. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. We do have quite an interesting day. Uh, forming up here, we have a PMI manufacturing number. We have an ISM manufacturing number and construction spending that we'll have to grapple with today. Now, earnings um, on the other side um, are a little bit less today, but we'll look at that in just a second. So these three reports, keep in mind that employment situation is uh, situation is number is coming on Friday. Right now, um, there's a lot of folks out there saying we might be as high as 20% unemployment, which would be historic. Um, we haven't seen unemployment like that since World War II. Um, but people not working doesn't seem to be a problem with the market anymore. So we who knows, we could get a 20% unemployment report and soar higher. I don't know. Could be a, it's an interesting situation uh, going on for sure. Um, then on the earnings calendar, we have about 30, just over 30 companies reporting earnings this morning. And um, I couldn't really find too much um, for notables, um, ERJ, might be something to watch here this morning. I wouldn't expect a whole lot of uh, uh, big events going on here with this. And ENS may be um, a bit notable this morning, but we'll just have to watch these closely as they report. Earnings season is really winding down. We're getting uh, fewer and fewer of those earnings reports. Um, 
as we kind of wind down this um, uh, second quarter season. So not much activity um, on that front this week. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you go over and take a click or just smash that um, subscribe button and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And by the way, guys, I want to remind everyone that if you look in the description right below the title of the video, there is also a blog link. You can certainly go over to our website and take a look at the blog that um, I post every single day if you're looking for some additional information um, about um, hit and run candlesticks, right way options, and um, everything we do um, there on the website. Um, also, just kind of remember that these videos are not meant to provide any additional hype or anything like that. Um, they are meant to really look at the technicals and try to dis discern what's going on. And for me, the majority of things that we must pay attention to in the chart are is the price action of the chart. And if the price action is bullish, we have to stay bullish. We have to focus on that price action. For me, I don't quite understand what's going on, but it doesn't matter. I'm trading long. This this market until I see something different in these charts. And so without um, trying to do any predicting or anything like that, that's what these videos are all about. And if you guys find these helpful, if you could please click that uh, uh, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, I would certainly appreciate it. And truly, it, it, it's been... Um, it's been a very humbling experience reading all of the great comments, and I truly am thank you, thankful, everyone, for all that you do. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for participating with the channel. It means the world to me. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up and looking quite bullish overall. Take a look at Pan W. Pan W, really nice. Um, potential chart as you can see nice bullish trend we're reacting nicely in here and on Friday nice little bullish pop uh, to push us back up here now one thing we do have to recognize and realize is that we have some resistance in this chart that we have to deal with and we may need to uh, find enough energy to break through to all-time highs but a very nice overall pattern as you can see and I've placed a price alert on this chart it may have to consolidate a few more days over here toward trend but we might want to keep an eye on that um, McDonald's is another one that I think could be setting up quite well having broken its downtrend popped up through this price resistance in the chart and now we're trying to consolidate that area of support right there in a nice tight price action move if we happen to get some bullishness in here um, in the next few days to pop that through i would it would look to me like we could um, take advantage of the trend resumption we kind of broke the trend here but get a trend resumption um, to the upside here so keep an eye on mcd mcd looking pretty good take a look at smh if you're an etf trader smh looking good now notice that we broke this price wedge here we broke the downtrend and once again we're holding this area as support so this consolidation in here is looking pretty darn bullish all we need is that little bit of push in here to uh, pop us out and maybe resume the upside trend here on SMH. Another chart that's looking pretty good is AVGO Broadcom. Uh, very, very nice move as Apple continues to hold up. Well, Broadcom being a major supplier of of apple and as you can see very nice bullish pattern here breaking through some heavy resistance in the chart and then being able to hold it as support had a really nice bullish move on friday pushing this on up now i want to remind you that we could still kind of slide ourselves over here toward trend 
before we go on up, but a very bullish pattern here in AVGO, something um, you might want to keep an eye on. Also kind of interesting is we're seeing lots of bullishness uh, going on here in silver, which would be kind of contradictory to the market rallying like this, but silver rallying strongly here in a nice bullish trend. You can see pop my alert moving on through this resistance level um, in the chart breaking through and may actually be reaching up here to new resistance highs. So keep an eye on SLV. It's holding up very, very strong looking quite good take a look at cdns cdns a beautiful chart has been moving up broke out notice we're at all-time highs here on cdns uh pushing up through um, looking very very bullish there was my alert on that chart nice little morning star pattern here and popping on through looking strong here and um, no indication that it's not going to go up higher still now boot, boot kind of disappointed me a little bit. You can see I had an alert on this, it popped through. And this uh, last, last couple of days of the week, we pulled back into this support. But still the, the technical damage in this chart um, uh, the, of the last couple of days has not um, messed up this thing just yet. We're holding up quite well. If we can hold this level of support and get some bulls to push back in here, we may have just needed to come back for another test of support before going higher. So keep uh, keep that in mind. If we can hold right in here, still may be able to come back around. If it fails right there, of course, all bets are off and um, we'll want to watch that one closely. PKI, I mentioned last week, um, early last week, Pop this alert moving on higher. You can see we're now up here testing highs in the chart. Could be um, trying to break through those all time highs. But one thing I would suggest is it moved up kind of sharply and our trend is out here. So don't be too surprised if PKI needs to do a little bit of backing up, maybe pulling back to test support or even consolidating over before it moves higher. But PKI definitely showing strength and staying very bullish. So it should be on a watch list, um, something to uh, be watching closely. CCJ, CCJ, I was watching this as a potential short. You can see I had a short um uh, alert here on that chart but take a look at this we've now broken back through that downtrend and we've recovered price support here in the chart so ccj with a little bit of rest or consolidation in here could set up to move right on higher um, pretty remarkable, but it's looking very strong here. Um, might be worth keeping an eye on. Charts all over the place are, are bullish. Um, we've got um, Kroger. I've mentioned this one a couple of times. Kroger, we had a very interesting situation where it looked like we were ready to go higher. Then we broke support. And then we recovered in a really great big candle. And then this whippiness came in here, pulled back, and then we're still trying to hold up. I still think there is that possibility in Kroger that we could just slide over here to this larger trend before we move on up. But Kroger's kind of an interesting chart and one I'd wanna keep an eye on here overall. I'm also keeping an eye on charts like um, Coca-Cola. Now Coke broke its downtrend here and it's had this really kind of squeamish rally as it's moved up and i say squeamish because it's just been back and forth back and forth back and forth uh, very light price action in here now if this can rest or pull back and hold support in here so this little consolidating move kind of hold in here look for that uh, potential support we find a trend then i would be watching coca-cola for a potential upside as i've mentioned several times i am in cisco um, very very happy to be in cisco big move here on friday uh, perked up hard uh, moved up sharply. Um, let's watch this resistance in the chart. 
let's keep an eye on that. We could push right on up through there, but Cisco um, showing lots of strength. Any rest or consolidation in here, I think um, would also be very bullish if we consolidate or pull this back into here to hold onto that trend before we move higher. That would still be quite bullish in that chart, so keep an eye on Cisco. So a few charts for you to look at, a few things to pay attention to. Hey everyone, you know, this is just kind of a strange market to me and I, I admittedly say I don't quite understand what's going on here, but my job as a trader is to focus on the price action and the charts and trade the charts. I may not get what's going on overall in the world and why we are showing so much bullishness with all of this going on but it really doesn't matter i just have to trade the chart hopefully you guys um, are feeling the same way that um, hey if we just stay focused on price action we can make money in this market and i want to wish you all a fantastic day and um, stay safe be careful out there Probably if you live in some of the larger cities, it might be better to just stay inside and trade today. Everyone take care. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.